Hey guys, this is Eric Weiner with Wagner Racing. I am at PRI, that stands for Performance Racing Industry. It's a trade show for racing, and it happens in Indianapolis. For those that don't know what it is, um, what I want you to do is picture a mall on Christmas Eve, and then double the amount of people, and then four times the area of a mall. And that's what PRI is, but instead of a mall, You've got every racing part that you might see in a Jigs catalog and a whole bunch of other race cars and different things as well, all in one area. If you're into racing at all, it is amazing. Now, on this video, I'm going to try to show you some of the cool stuff I saw. And you may not find it's cool, but this is it. I haven't even made it through the whole, whole show with so much walking, which is fine. Um, if you are haven't ever been, I will say... You should probably come at least once, but here's some things to look forward to. It's nothing but people. You will have groups of six hogging an entire aisle that you're trying to go down, um, which makes it's always fun. Like I said, it's just like Christmas Eve at them all. Um, and then if you don't have that, you'll want to talk to a vendor, and there'll be some guy there um, talking to the vendor telling them their, their life story about this, oh, when I was 16 car, when you just need to have a two minutes of their time to answer a question, but you'll wait 20 minutes while this person goes on and on. And um, you'll stick around because you want to get your question answered. And also because you're like, I've already devoted 10 minutes to waiting. I'm going to wait this out. 20 minutes later, the guy's finally... All right, well, I'll move along, and uh, I'll be in touch. And then you get to finally ask your question. Um, the And then you go back to walking, trying to get through people who their entire group thought it'd be cool to take up the entire row so that you can't walk around. Uh, I've been in the shop too long, just being myself. Being around people is a little, a little strange. But anyway, I digress. Let's get to what it is. So the first thing I'm going to show you is I had done the video, if you guys might remember, that Flowtech LS3 head. Well, I told you that Blueprint had an amazing LS3 head, and it was cast overseas. I have found it, but it wasn't from Blueprint. I went to Liberty, and Liberty sells to wholesalers like myself. They don't sell to individuals. Um, but, of course, I'm going to get set up when I come back on Monday and be able to order the head. I found the LS3 head, and I want to show you this. So there's going to be a couple of pictures um, so you can see what I'm talking about. This is the LS3 head. I wish I had done the internet ports heads because this one I think is far better. Um, really good head. So anyway, here are some pictures. Take a look at that. Okay, um, like I said, really cool. Now this next thing I'm going to show you, it's from Brodix. As you know, I'm a Brodix dealer. So I always kind of see what new products come up. I'll go ahead and tell you right now, there's not a whole lot of new products at the show that I've seen. And part of it is due to this. I'll go ahead and tell you, this is manufacturer wide. They're so busy just trying to keep up with the existing orders and products that are already out there. They can't devote any more research to, uh, or any more time or effort and manpower to research and development this year because they're just trying to keep up. Um, so there's not a lot of new products, but this one is from Brodix. What it is, is they have redesigned their um, intake manifold. It's a single plate intake manifold, 4150 that fits a um, big block Chevy, which I know you're like, well, then they're plenty. You have to remember that one of the great intake manifolds for a big block Chevy was the Elderbrock 454R, uh, not available. I haven't been by Elderbrock, mean to. So I want to ask um, if they have any idea when they might actually have product. But they have, um, Brodix is kind of filled in this gap. That intake looks really good. Um, you can see from these pictures, it took three. Um, I think this would be a pretty good one. So anyway, see what you think. Okay, so while I'm filming it, this is happening outside the hotel room. <laughs> See the flags on the building? I don't know if you can see it down there. The trees and stuff. Can you hear the taps? Yeah. There's a nice skinny rink too. Anyway. Uh, I thought that was kind of cool. 
Okay, this is the next product I want to show you. This is from AFR. I'm also a dealer for them. They have a product that they have on display here um, that they're showing. It is, and this is fantastic, it is the Gen 3 Hemi, you know, the ones that come in the 5.7, 6.1, the Hellcat, that sort of stuff. AFR now has a cylinder head, two actually. They only have one on display, and it's the CNC Porter one. But they have the CNC new, brand new head, head for the 5.7 or 6 liter Hemi stuff, the, the Gen 3 Hemi. Um, it's on display, which is amazing. Here's the other thing. They have an ASCAS version too, which is great for me because I'm a porter, so I get to port that. The other thing is, of course, if you've been watching my videos, I ordered the flow plate to actually flow that head. Um, um, I ordered a 4100 bore and also the flow plate to uh, bolt the head too, so it, it, perfect. So I'm going to get to see that. All right, let's see what you think. Okay, the next product I'm showing you, this is from Phytech. It looks like they're trying to compete with um, Holly with their Sniper 4500. This is their bigger version of their um, fuel-injected throttle body unit. Um, it has dual TPS sensors. I don't know. That's kind of, I don't know why they have it. I'm sure someone will tell me. But what I will say is it doesn't have the annular discharge ring. Um, Holly does, and... Um, they did too, but not on this one. It looks like it just has a direct spray uh, for the injector right underneath the butterfly. But anyway, take a look. The next thing I want to show you, this is from um, Mast. So Mast makes cylinder heads as well. They have an ASCAST head that's also there at PRI. If you look at it, compare it to Liberty's, it's so close. They're not the same. Um, because you could tell because the masthead has a little bulge at the where the pushrod slot is on one side of the wall And if you look at the picture you can kind of tell the Liberty does not have that. Um, so anyway, take a look at that The next thing I want to show you this is from M&M for those that have never heard of M&M they do amazing stuff they cast a bunch of weird manifolds um, to fit small block Chevys. We're like, well, everybody fits small block Chevys. Not 13 degree stuff. Um, this one's one of their ones for a big block Chevy now. This one is a really good design. It looks kind of like the Brodex 2027, 20, except for this one's far more advanced. The catch is you can't use it on everything. Um, I had to wait 30 minutes to talk to him about this because life story person was in front of me. But anyway, um, uh, you can't use it on your regular stuff like the um if you try to use it on something on the standard port height because what they did is and he explained this whole thing they milled some off the manifold themselves so it sits lower so um or you have to sorry i have it wrong it sits higher and you there's not enough material in the manifold to mill enough off to have it sit right on a lot of things it will sit right on like say an sr20 not a problem and then if you do it in the 10 2 stuff it'll fit no problem as well um, but anyway, there's that, he, he was explaining that, but that manifold really is nice. So you're going to like this, but it, just to be a note, it does, it's not like I could just slap this on several different heads. Like say, if you have an AFR 385, it ain't gonna, it ain't gonna work, but, um, really nice manifold and, but super pricey. The retail on this is 926. The last thing I'm showing you, this is a profiler small block board head. Now it's been out for a while and several people have asked, why haven't you done a video of it? It's because of this. If you, I only took one picture, so you have to, you might have to pause it. This is the height of the short side on the intake port. It's so short to me, so it makes it harder to port. But I, I don't ever have them in the shop. So it's great that it was there, so I can actually point this out. If you look at the picture, you can kind of tell. The head still makes good power. I just, I don't prefer that. So, um, head really does make good power. Probably had a lot of other cool stuff that was there. They had their, um, their Hitman intakes, which are the ones that fit the big block. Um, 
a lot of good stuff there. No new products, of course. Um, I will say, and this is coming up in a later video and I haven't edited it yet, and because the hotel doesn't have Wi-Fi, I can't um, get on my laptop here and upload, but I do have uh, experience with that Profiler Wilson one for a small box Chevy. I float it with a head and I wanted to go over that, but that'll be a later video anyway, but I've cut that one. That was there too. The last thing I'm going to show you has no car, I mean, no uh, part related thing. This car was there and it looks a lot like um, the one that Warren Johnson used to drive the old pro stock stuff. So it was there, really cool. So I just took a picture and show it. I'm not a, you just got to take a picture with people or cars thing. Oh, I should point out too. I have seen um, several of the Street Outlaw guys here. And I promise you, uh, <laughs> there are way more people here, um, race cars, that guys that you would never imagined like i'll give you a prime example as i'm walking to the car that you're seeing pictured here um who's like 20, 10 feet from the car is larry dixon talking on the phone um if you're not familiar with drag racing larry dixon used to drive top fuel funny car or not funny car but um dragster uh i enjoyed the i enjoyed him immensely i thought he did a really great job but he i he looks different that's all i could say but it was cool to see just see him i didn't go up and bug him he's on the phone i'm gonna be that guy but you could see him clay milliken when i came in was coming again if you're a race car guy you know who i'm talking about um he's always got a smile on his face you ever see clay milliken uh i've seen him several times i don't i have never gone up to him to ask to talk to him or anything or uh, can you get a picture with him i don't do that and it's not because i don't admire him it's because i'll lose the picture so it'll be, it'll be one of the thousands of pictures on this phone or in the iCloud, and I can't ever find it. And so I don't take pictures with, like, the people and celebrities, unless it's, like, something my son asked for, and he doesn't ask for that stuff. But uh, anyway, um, yeah, all those people were here, and uh, you, if, you, if you're into meeting them, that's there. And I mean everybody. So anyway, uh, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If there's something that you think's there and you want me to try to check it out, I can tomorrow. I'll be here till uh, I'm gonna leave out Sunday. And it also, if you're feel free to talk to me, I have three people from this channel that actually uh, came up to me and said something to me, so that's pretty cool. I don't mind talking to you at all, at all but remember, there's only two topics I really could talk about, and that's uh, rate, uh, engines, pretty much, and food. Beyond that, I I, I I'm suck at conversation. Um, also, if you start talking about politics, you'll notice me just walk or turn around and walk off. I'm not into that at all. But, um, yeah, so, or you could text me, too, if you're like, hey, you want to go have a bite to eat? Because, you know, food, uh, uh, text me. It's 918-520-3480. All right, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.